Hello, this is Tex Antoine, and I'm going to tell you a delightful story written by Ludwig Bemelman. A story called Sunshine. While you hear the story, pay attention to the music. The Overtures of Rossini. The music and the story go together very well. So, listen. A man named Sunshine, with a mean disposition, had a flat to rent, on one condition. Whoever moves in must be very quiet. No pets, no children, they cause a riot. The reason is, I live next door. And he rented the place to nice old Miss Moore. But he quickly learned, the grouchy old fool, that Miss Moore was running a music school. Tell you, woman, to desist and cease, or I'll take steps to cancel your lease. But did he scare her? He scared her not. She said to the children, Give it all you've got. Sunshine tried to break her lease on the ground that music disturbs the peace. But the judge laughed, making Sunshine pout. I hate music. I'm moving out. That day, the sky turned suddenly gray as Miss Moore was going about her way. Then the rain began to fall as she stood outside an auctioneer's hall. Inside the hall, a fella held up an antique umbrella. Miss Moore heard the auctioneer... Attention, folks, please let me hear if any of you ladies and gents will offer me ten cents. Miss Moore quickly raised her hand, and the man on the auction stand shouted, Going, going, gone. Sold to the lady that stands there alone. What a grand bargain. I'll be glad to send more customers to your lovely store. And now I cheerfully bid you good day. Wait, there's more money you have to pay. More money? Explain that to me, please. There are 2,000 umbrellas at 10 cents apiece. They've been lost or found and have gone astray on the trains and stations of Manhattan subway. Miss Moore was heartbroken. This just about leaves me flat. It cleans me out. I'm sorry, dear lady. All I can say is you bid for them all and you have to pay. Poor Miss Moore. The umbrellas took her last cent. How was she going to pay her rent? Now, this unfortunate happenstance gave Mr. Sunshine his big chance... While Miss Moore was totally immersed in umbrellas and music, as she rehearsed, Sunshine said, You came here under false pretenses. I must have been out of my senses. This will teach me a lesson I'll not forget. Pack up now, for this place is to let. Miss Moore just tapped her baton and said, The children and I shall simply wait for rain and sell the old umbrellas again. With the Lord's help, we'll soon send Mr. Sunshine his overdue rent. Sunshine, sunshine, go away and come again some other day. The children left the house as rain came down like out of a water main. Drain pipes gurgled. Gutters choked. And the citizenry was soaked. Back ran the children. Miss Moore, they cried. Quick, the umbrellas. It's teeming outside. So out they went into the rain to sell umbrellas fancy and plain. 
It was windy, cold, and showery, and tough work down on the Bowery. Miss Moore ascended to Columbia Heights and sold umbrellas to Brooklynites. At the U.N., she sold a few to a drenched delegate from Timbuktu. The last umbrella was sold in Astoria to a visitor who flew in from Peoria. After the downpour, Miss Moore suddenly was no longer poor. Children, no more worries about the rent, and each of you gets a new instrument. They played great music in Carnegie Hall and gave a performance on Central Park's Mall. Next day, a man knocked at the door. It was sunshine. Please, Miss Moore. A strange experience I had last night in the park. A concert, such delight. Then I looked, and what do you suppose I saw? You and your children, the orchestra. So forgive me, lady, if I only could come back to this lovely neighborhood. I've become immune to noises. I love little children's voices. And I certainly make no exceptions to concerts and musical selections. Miss Moore's answer was not to scold. She said, Come in out of the cold. And that's the story of rainy weather, which brought sunshine and music close together. <laughs> <laughs>